welcome to another bordering session. If you just want to see me do uh, the V5s, you can check in the YouTube description for the chapters. But I don't start my sessions with V5s, so we're going to do this funnel V3, kind of <laughs> lateral, lateral traversal across the wall and then transition to this kind of overhanging type section. Just a quick side note, if you like these types of videos and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe as it helps grow my channel and you get to see more videos like this. This next bit, it, <laughs> the foot placement was actually a bit, a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. So just trying out these <laughs> toe hooks to help me out and just transitioning into this part. I actually didn't see this hold above me. <laughs> So I thought it would go right, but when I should get there anyway. And then this second last hold had, with the side pull actually feels really, not really, just <laughs> a bit a bit awkward, a bit scary, a bit sketchy to get, but we did manage to flash it. Moving on to this a bit more slopey problem. Oh yeah, I, I've also started um, putting in the French grading system in the videos just to make it, I don't know, a bit more accessible, I guess. Once I got here, getting to this hold is pretty good, but matching it isn't the best. And then <laughs> these bodyweight transitions, I always get me. Even, yeah, even as a V3 these v3 climbs if, if it has a body shift in it yeah, i'm gonna have i'm gonna have some trouble with it but another big thing about this problem is um the feet i i was actually using the inside edge of my foot instead of my toe so that meant that I couldn't pivot. I thought using the inside edge would help, but at the end of the day, most of the time, if you use your toe, using your toe is pretty much the way to go. Just so you can pivot on it. And there we go. Trying, not from the start, but I did manage to do that bodyweight shift. And now it's just transitioning into the second part. There are some orange footholds there, but I opted to go for uh, a tar hook. So starting from the beginning. Even this first move with very slurpy start is a bit difficult. I actually got a bit ahead of myself trying to go for the hold straight away, but realize I need to match and put my feet up there we go nice transition especially with the hand and just done this so it was pretty standard stuff moving on to a v3 that is a bit more than my style, a bit more physical, high tension, with nice holds. <laughs> Pretty decent reach out to the right, and then a bump as again. This border is a top out. <laughs> top out's always pretty awkward. Trying to get my foot on and take my hand out. And there we go, I managed to flash this one. Which really helped my confidence because that other V3 really humbled me. <laughs> Another V3 with kind of a side pull, with side pulls. Kind of backtracking a bit to switch feet. A 
I didn't really read the route much, but when I felt this, I was like, oh no, it's another shift in body weight. So <laughs> I got a bit flustered, but just um, had confidence in myself and just powered through. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna let another V3 <laughs> stump for me. Even though the, this um, topping out was very awkward. Just trying to crawl up and onto it. Moving on to this blue V4 with a literal sit start. I don't know, I just made sure I actually started it properly. But then transitioning out of it <laughs> was really awkward for me, just trying to sh like shimmy my way out of it. And get my foot up. But it's a pretty, pretty standard V4, really like it. Nice holds and kind of almost straightforward beta and footwork needed. Nice bump with the right, then kind of crossover with the left, but then this next move felt really, really far. Not really, really far, but just felt like a decent move to go for. And yeah, going with the right, trying to stay on. The feet are really important here. If they um, were to like let go, it would not be great. Kind of similar to the red one where you bump with the right hand and you top out. But this one is <laughs> a lot more awkward. Trying not, trying not to use the red volumes here. That red volume. Trying to get my <laughs> right foot up onto that tiny little ledge. There we go. Now to the climb that I was actually most, um, I was most excited for this session. It's a V5 overhang with really nice holds. is really finding it hard to place feet so I just decided I'll just go for it and <laughs> put my feet back up same thing for this trying to see where I put my feet so I'll just uh, screw it I'll just campus it for now <laughs> then I can put my feet back up and I was I actually surprised myself a lot here because I didn't expect um, for me to get so far, I was like, oh, this is a V5, but it is, this sort of problem is like really suited for me, and even though I'd say it's pretty soft, um, I guess I just, yeah, this type of climb is like built for me, and it's what I like the best, so yeah, I managed to flash a V5, which I'm pretty happy about. Moving on to this um, other V5. Very different style. This is uses crimps and a different type of tension than the overhang. I had a right. I had a high right foot which wasn't the best beta should probably put the right foot um, lower on the yeah on this hold <laughs> just trying to find where to go next and even though that small crimp on the left looks really small but it actually felt really good it's coming up to <laughs> i pretty much missed all my attempts at grabbing at it but it yeah feels really doable.
even here I also surprised myself because I was like oh, I'm actually getting pretty <laughs> far up this but <laughs> when I got up there I got a bit flustered so I just <laughs> jumped off I actually got pretty confident pretty confident so I decided to go from the beginning but <laughs> if this is a border that requires like um, good footwork so I, I tried to go with the right foot but it's actually left foot and then switch feet so left foot and then switch then I go up to this tiny cramp then I do left foot and switch again <laughs> for some reason <laughs> going up to that other hole just felt really difficult probably just was pumped Yeah, I managed to get it, but <laughs> my foot slipped, and yeah, my arms was just too bad. I mean, felt too bad to hold on. So after a quick brush and a few minutes of resting, um, I try to try again from the start. Here I <laughs> go over my moves again, just to make sure I get everything right, so I don't waste time thinking about anything. So and I can do it pretty efficiently. Yeah, just go smooth. Yeah, left hand Gaston match. Move up a bit, left foot, then right foot switch. Go up to this tiny crimp, left foot, right foot switch again. Go ahead, move, then match it. Right side pull, then flag with the right foot. Then switch feet. grab this other one then I can just use the ledge to stand up and grab the top ledge which <laughs> brings about another <laughs> awkward um, top out but hey I managed to do it really pleased myself managed to do two v5s this session and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one peace